Excuse me, can I help you? Are you looking for Prior Maberal or Joffrey? I think he's sleeping, but it must be important. Go ahead upstairs and wake him. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? This cannot be. No one but the Emperor is permitted to handle the amulet. Let me see it. By the Nine, this is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of King. The Prince of Destruction he referred to is none other than Merun's Dagon. The Emperor's words, close shut the jaws of oblivion, certainly. But all the scholars agree that the mortal world is protected. I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a... When an emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon. With the emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon... It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the emperor was aware of. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I... One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me... He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time he would... Now it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne. His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. Yes, Boris told you right. I am the Grand Master of the Blades. We serve the Emperor and the Septim bloodline. Talos is our patron. You wonder to find me here? Discretion is our watchword. Only a few of us have the honor to serve publicly in the Imperial Guard. The Daedra Prince of Destruction an inveterate foe of all mortal races. He was involved with Jaeger Than's plot against the Empire years ago. It doesn't surprise me to find his hand in the current calamity. He is a priest in the chapel of Akatosh in Kvach. He never knew that he was Uriel Septim's son. You need to find him at once and bring him safely back here. The Elder Council rules in the Emperor's absence by ancient tradition. Chancellor Akato heads the Elder Council and is the closest thing the Empire has to a leader right now. But the Blades answer only to the Emperor, of course. We are not an arm of the government. The coronation of each new Emperor is sealed when he uses the Amulet of Kings to light the dragon fires in the Temple of the One. The dragon fires of Akatosh remain lit until the death of the Emperor. His successor then lights them anew upon ascending to the throne. With Emperor Uriel dead and no successor crowned, the Temple of the One will be dark for the first time in centuries. One of the youngest blades ever to serve in the Emperor's personal guard. I am glad to hear that he survived, but I fear he will take the Emperor's death particularly hard. It will be safest here with me. When you return with Martin, we will figure out our next move. I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Help yourself to whatever you need.
Excuse me. We have a small problem that we hope you can help us with. You may be wondering why you can't see me. We are all wondering the same thing. Everyone in Aylesville suddenly became invisible several weeks ago. It was sort of fun at first, but the novelty has definitely worn off now. You can imagine how difficult it is to run an inn while invisible. Once you get a reputation as a haunted inn, you can just forget about it. So we've all been keeping quiet, hoping the spell will wear off. But we're running out of patience. We're sure it was Ankatar's doing, but we can't find him. If you can help us, we will be extremely grateful. He's a wizard who took up residence in the ruins of Fort Caractacus a couple of years ago. He's caused us no end of trouble with his magical experiments, but nothing as bad as this. We've tried to find him, but had no luck. If he's still living in the fort, he's hiding from us, and no wonder. If you could find him and get him to remove this cursed invisibility, we will all be in your debt. Western Cyrodiil is called Colovia, and... Take care. I don't want whatever you're selling. I told you to leave me alone. Go away. Oblivion take you. What is it you want from me? Yes, I have been working on a new invisibility spell. As you can see, it works quite well. Why? Oh, really? Everyone in town. That must have been what all the shouting was about a few weeks ago. I'm afraid I was engrossed in an experiment that required my full attention. You see, in order to increase the efficacy of the spell, the radius was likely to approach the... Oh, never mind. I don't mean to bore you. You can tell them not to worry. The effect is not actually permanent. It should wear off eventually. Well, in a year or two, maybe a bit more, there's no... Really? I find being invisible quite refreshing. But, if it will get everyone to leave me alone, fine. Here, stand in the center of town to make sure you get everyone. Oh, and make sure... Never mind, it should be fine. I've already given you... Stop talking. Hey, do you mind not tramp? Oh, don't get me wrong. Some of my best friends are elves. But self and All that stuff about having to set trolls on fire is a bunch of hooey. They don't... Be seeing you. Thank you. Thank you. I can't tell you how good it feels to be able to see myself again. My sisters, on the other hand, I wouldn't mind if they had stayed invisible. <laughs> ah, me. Friend, you are welcome in the end. There's never any charge for you, friend. Be seeing you. 